Between 1882 and 1920, more than one million Italian immigrants arrived in Argentina. By the time the 1920s came around, Italians made up 40% of the immigrant population. According to a 2020 article by the Wilson Center, two-thirds of Argentinians have Italian ancestry. In neighboring Uruguay, nearly half of the population has Italian heritage. Also, approximately a million Italian citizens reside in Argentina today. The Italian community in Argentina is one of the largest Italian communities outside of Italy, second to Brazil. Italians have left a deep imprint on the culture and society of Argentina. During the Spanish conquest of what we call today Argentina, an Italian from Sardinia named Leonardo Gribeo accompanied Pedro de Mendoza to the site of the future city of Buenos Aires. Gribeo brought an image of St. Mary of Good Air from Sardinia to Spain and then to Rio de la Plata and to Buenos Aires, attributing to her their success at having reached a good place. The Argentinian capital thus received its name from Gribeo. Prior to the massive waves of Italian immigrants to Argentina who began arriving in the 19th century, small groups of Italian migrants had already come to Argentina. When the Argentine War of Independence broke out in 1810, three of the six voting members of the country's first government were of Italian descent. One of these men, Manuel Belgrano, was the son of a well-to-do businessman who hailed from Anelia in northern Italy. In the early decades of the 19th century, the Italian presence in Argentina had grown to a point where the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia sent an ambassador in 1836. The current Italian tricolor was raised for the first time in Argentina by the Piedmontese consulate in 1848. The Argentinian army performed a 21-gun salute in honor of the flag raising. Italians in Buenos Aires decorated their homes with green, white, and red flags to celebrate the occasion. The Buenos Aires neighborhood of La Boca is primarily populated by tourists today. However, in the late 1800s, La Boca was the first destination for Argentina's Italian immigrants. When Italian migration to Argentina picked up in the 1870s, the migrants were targeted by the country's elite. Italian migrants in particular were blamed for the spread of yellow fever. It must be mentioned, however, that Italian migrants in Argentina did not face hostility from their hosts as much as their counterparts in the United States did. One reason for this is the shared Catholic faith of both Italy and Argentina. In America during this time, society was strongly anti-Catholic. Also, the linguistic similarities between Italian and Spanish made assimilation easier for Italian immigrants. Argentina's Italian community is mostly concentrated around Buenos Aires. At the start of the First World War in 1914, approximately a million Italians resided in Argentina. In the initial stages of Italian immigration to Argentina, the migrants predominantly hailed from the northern Italian regions of Liguria, Piedmont, and Lombardy. Toward the close of the 19th century, large numbers of immigrants from southern Italian provinces such as Sicily, Campania, and Calabria arrived in the country too. Northern Italians settled mostly in rural areas, while Southern Italians chose large cities. After the 1861 unification of Italy, Italian Argentines were divided between monarchists and republicans. In the early years of the 20th century, Italian socialists and anarchists came to Argentina as well. From these left-wing Italian migrants came Argentina's earliest mass social movements. During the Second World War, Italian Argentines were split between fascists and anti-fascists. In fact, Italian fascist dictator Benito Mussolini's great-grandson was born in Argentina and ran for the EU Parliament in 2019. Between the end of World War II in 1945 to around 1970, the last major influx of Italians came. The immigrants in this wave moved to Argentina from southern Italy. There are more than 700,000 dual Italian and Argentinian citizens in the country. Buenos Aires and its surrounding areas is thought of as an additional province of Italy due to the sheer number of Italians residing there. Italian Argentines have made up an important part of the South American nation's political landscape. More than a thousand Italian associations operate in Argentina, about 120 of which are based in the city of Buenos Aires. Italian migrants also formed eight associations based on their home regions back in Italy. Argentinian Spanish, known formally as Rio Platense Spanish, is described as Spanish with an Italian accent. Rio Platense Spanish borrows vocabulary and cadence from regional Italian dialects. For instance, the Argentinian Spanish word for beer is birra, which derives from the Italian word for beer. 
The Argentinian Spanish word for work is laburo, which comes from the Italian word for work, lavoro. There is even a dialect of slang in Buenos Aires called lunfardo, which comes from the word lombardo. Lombardo refers to one from the region of Lombardy. Lunfardo is heavily influenced by Italian and was originally used by criminals in the lower classes. Today, Lunfardo is used by all social classes in Buenos Aires and the surrounding area. Italian alcoholic beverages such as Campari are popular in Argentina today. Pizzerias, gelato shops, and other Italian-style restaurants are a common sight in modern-day Argentina. Italian heritage festivals are common too. The Palacio Barolo in the Montserrat neighborhood of Buenos Aires was designed by an Italian architect and nods to Dante's Divine Comedy can be found in the building's architecture. Tango, one of Argentina's most notable exports, was influenced by Italian immigrants as well, among other influences. Filetado, an art form native to Argentina, derived from Italians too. Italians have left a mark on Argentina and South America as a whole, much like their counterparts in the United States. Just like in the United States, Italian culture is still very visible and one cannot separate Italy from Argentina's story. What do you guys think? How is European migration to South America affected by Latin America EU relations? What other Italian diaspora communities in Latin America are also deserving of attention? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.